all right hi everyone and in this video we have given a task that given a string we need to find each letter is repeated how many times so in this video i'm going to be teaching you how to do that so let's say we have a string this is a string right so we need to count how many times a is repeated how many times b is repeated and similarly c d e so let us do this is a python challenge so stop the video think about it and we will get back to the solution all right so the solution so we define a variable known as my string and i'm going to copy all of that so whenever you're coding python challenges so i've started something new so try to use comments try to use function so that this way you would develop your python skills even more so let's get started so first of all i'm gonna import collection so there are several ways to do this so the way that i opt opt is usually using the using collections so let's get started from collections all right so i'm gonna give a command known as import i'm gonna give a sorry a comment import the library okay i'm gonna define a function because i want to our job or our goal is to be a better programmer not just to get the problem solved all right so we are given a string or or else let's say we will pass a string all right so whenever a user will pass a string to this function uh yep all right so whenever we pass a function what do we need to do is we need to count the how many letter is uh, repeated how many times so let us say results is equal to collections dot counter and uh, we, will be, we will just pass the string return results all right beautiful now we will do if underscore underscore name underscore underscore main which basically checks if this is the main file if yes then um, we need to pass the string all right uh, make sure to add two spaces after every function could it's a good practice to do that so i'm gonna call the function and i'm gonna pass the string and i'm gonna store the uh, the answer in a variable known as out i'm gonna print out let's run this and see what happens what do you think what happens so uh when we run this you see the b is repeated eight times a is repeated five times d's s is repeated um five times i is repeated three times f is repeated two times so it, it was that easy you see so uh can i print it in a better way this is a dictionary right so how do i do that simple i can iterate over the dictionary if i do print text let's see what do we get all right so if i iterate over the dictionary sure enough i got all the unique what i'm trying to say again repeat i got all the unique letters so so out of th these letters which are the letters unique the, i mean which is not repeated i mean which i mean the letters which are repeated a lot so you can see let me print this So if I print this, so you will have an idea. Okay, so here you can see uh, the B letter, then the A letter, then the S letter. So out of this string, out of the entire string, I want to remove all the repeated characters. So how do I do that, guys? Pretty easy. So I have the uh, dictionary, right? So now I need to remove that. So how am I supposed to do that? So I'm going to create an empty list. All right, then just going to take this out and what are you gonna do simply my dot append you got it and so this will remove the repetition from a string so let's see oops that did not work the way i wanted 
so what did i do wrong oh yeah i have to print my not x and sure enough this will remove all the repetition so these are the unique characters from the string now let us okay this is good good way of programming remember we are not solving we are we are trying to be a better programmer so our goal let's try to develop the same application into a class so let's do that so how are you going to do that guys class test right it inherits from class known as object am i right guys object then we have a default constructor i'm just gonna say pass so i'm gonna define a method inside this define so this will return a dictionary so i'm gonna say or let's say for all right and this is also going to take a string all right so my underscore string so by default if you don't pass anything it will take uh, the blank value right so now i'm just going to copy this remember we are trying to learn programming in a better way how to program better it is the code you can just get it done or it's the code that's so beautifully written a well-written code you know so let's do that let's remove this also we don't need this anymore so we have to write a return function return results now remember every good programmer usually um, define the function what it is returning so what was the parameter it's a string give comments return returns a dict all right so it's a good practice to do this always remember a space after the comma now the code looks good one more space so it looks even more better two space after the import functions you see now it looks well written code now let's try to run the same code so now the in order to run this i need to create a class am i right guys so let's see so i'm gonna say c equals to what was the name of the class guys you said it's test so you would say test we created the object c dot now formatted is our function right and it has a variable known as my string this will be my oops my string it's gonna take my string all right this will perform the function and i need to store it in a variable known as out right then uh, i need to print the variable right now i'm gonna remove this i'm gonna remove this as well so if i print this sure enough it worked now let's try to add that unique function inside this so this function will remove all the repetition letter it will only give you unique letters or alphabetical letters define unique all right we did that now what do we need to do uh, this will take a dictionary right we need to do the operation on the dictionary all right my underscore my underscore remember it's a dictionary so by default i'm passing the blank dictionary it's always good practice to uh, take care of each and every parameters so if the user does not supply that you need you should print that you did not supply that so what we are going to do for x in my dict all right uh, now i'm going to create a list here self dot my all right now this will basically what this function will do is basically i want the unique letters in a list right so self dot my dot append x all right Ret and at the end i just need to return that return self dot my beautiful 
so now that you can see it's a well written code remember always to give what is your return parameter remember return is a now list it's a it's a dictionary now let's try to run this the same code so now instead of doing this so let's say print out and i'm also going to call a function which we just defined known as unique here you can see this is going to take a dictionary and it will output a list all right so here you can see it's a well written code everything is commented and print let's see if that works so here you can see that's the dictionary then we passed into the function and it gave us a list so that's it for this video this code is also there in the description section of my github account make sure to download it so remember our job our role is to be a better programmer not just to get things done so when you are coding make sure you are including all of these you saw how we did coding we initially made simple function then we developed a class then we added some you know like comments and stuff and um, now it looks beautiful so that's it for this video thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new i will try my best to uh, create a separate playlist known as python challenges where you would find all these kind of videos i'll every every week i'll give you some problems you will be coming up with a solution so that's it for this video see you guys next time thank you for watching